Shakespeare wrote Titus Andronicus and he was in his young blood and guts period. All right, now we are going to move on to further explore Shakespeare's genius as evident in his more mature plays. So it now gives us great pleasure as we present the dark and brooding tragedy, Othello, Moor of Venice. <laughs> Nothing extenuate of one who loved not wisely, but too well. For never was a story of more woe Adam, than this Adam. of Desdemona and her Othello. Adam, 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 what are you doing? It is I, Othello, the Moor of Venice. Adam, Adam. <laughs> into this play, apparently that many looked up more in the dictionary and thought it was a place where you tie up boats. <laughs> Which we all know is ridiculous. In this context, of course, a moor does not mean a place where you tie up boats. Yes, it so means a, uh, well, a person you know, of you know, uh, African uh, darks and uh, uh, equatorial you know. coloring. And we are not so we're more like, we're like northern we Nordic uh, Aryans. Yeah, yeah. we're uh, white, well, we're honky. <laughs> line here is that we will not be performing Othello. Oh, we're really sorry. What do you mean? We gotta play Othello, man. Come on. Well, think think about it, can. dude. The name of our show is the Complete Works of William well, Shakespeare. We, yeah. well, we yeah. named the play. We can call it whatever we want. We That's can call right. it the Complete Works of William Shakespeare except, except Othello. Othello. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody so get out your program. Get out your program. Get a pen. 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 Except Othello. Complete Works. Except Othello. Why not? Well, I don't like the anus part of it. Well, <laughs> we can't not do a play just because it has a weird title. I mean, we have a responsibility here. How much longer do we have on this stage? Uh, about um, so half an hour, I think. Half an hour? Yeah. Do you know how many more plays we've got to get through? And we still got a whole lot more plays to do. Oh, great. How many is a lot, shithead? <laughs> 29, butt face. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dick knob. <laughs> what are you looking at? Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, know, that's like one point something. I know, I know. Oh, oh, you haven't done the comedy. The comedy! We get some funny props. We're getting really funny props. All right. Now, we'll just go through these pretty quickly. The comedies begin with The Tempest, and The Tempest begins with a terrible shipwreck. I knew those boats would come in handy. Yeah, they're good. Now, by coincidence, there's also a shipwreck in Twelfth Night. Whee! But in that play, a pair of twins get separated. Now, the girl disguises herself as a boy, and then she falls in love with the Duke. Hi. All right, now, uh, let's see what happens next. Now, in Merchant of Venice, there are two women who disguise themselves as men. But since men played all the women's parts anyway, we can't figure out how they did that. <laughs> <laughs> then Shakespeare totally shocked the theater community by writing two plays, As You Like It and All's Well That Ends Well, wherein women disguise themselves as men. Really, really clever, Bill. <laughs> Two Gentlemen of Verona, All's Well That Ends Well, Merchant of Venice, Love's Labor's Lost, Comedy of Errors, and Cymbeline, wherein lovers exchange notes or rings or gold chains with the wrong person, <laughs> resulting in mass confusion! <laughs> During which all the lovers die! No, 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 they don't die. These are comedies, so they all get married and uh, go out to dinner afterwards. Oh, yeah, that's like a much ado about nothing. <laughs> Benedict doesn't really like Beatrice. <clears throat> Beatrice doesn't really like Benedict, but in the end, they end up married anyway. This is in utter contrast to Taming of the Shrew, yeah. wherein Kate and Petruchio uh -huh. hate each other's guts, but end up married in the end and live happily ever after. <laughs> now, not all the comedies are this hysterical, however. Take, for example, A Winter's Tale, during which the king kind of kills his wife and his daughter's best friend gets eaten by a bear. <laughs> However, it all comes out happily because after 15 years, the queen's not really a statue. She's just been pretending all this time. <laughs> and, then, and then there's 
promise measure for measure where the kindly duke leaves his dukedom in the charge of his sadistic and tyrannical brother. But in the end, all set right, when the duke returns and punishes his demented brother by forcing him to marry the beautiful and voluptuous Mariana, some punishment, huh? <laughs> and he will presumably subject to perverse sexual practices for the rest of her life. <laughs> then there's Midsummer Night's Dream, where a bunch of fairies confuse four lovers into thinking that each loves the other lover's lover. Now, the question we have is this. Why did Shakespeare write 14 comedies when he could have written just one? Of course, it doesn't really matter anyway, because we of the Reduced Shakespeare Company have found that the comedies aren't half as funny as the tragedies. <laughs> For example, I don't know, what are we taking for the example? Scottish oh, the Scottish play. Oh, the Scottish play.